All right, we have an update for you on the woman who was brutally attacked by a nut job in downtown Dallas, and the man was arrested. Let's check it out. 270 employees work in the district clerk's office, but Dallas County District Clerk Felicia Petrie can't stop replaying what happened to one employee. I was shocked. And then when I found out it was my clerk, I was upset. Her employee, the woman seen in this video, attacked last Thursday in downtown Dallas in broad daylight. Petrie says she left on her lunch break around one in the afternoon. She's standing there, helpless really, because when he attacked her, her back was to him. She, she didn't even see him coming. Petrie says she is still in the hospital recovering but suffered facial fractures. Dallas police have charged 36-year-old Antonio Banks with aggravated assault. A new affidavit says he followed her for at least 10 minutes from Commerce Street to Ackard Street. That is a really long time to follow somebody. 10 minutes, that's a long time. Police arrested Banks on the 16th for trespassing. And the affidavit says they were able to connect him to this assault because he was wearing the same exact clothes down to his mismatched shoelaces. Oh, now that he's been arrested, there's a sense of relief. When I saw the video, I audibly screamed. Jennifer Scripps is the president and CEO of Downtown Dallas, Inc. She says security guards responded to the attack within minutes, but she says this should be a serious warning to others. Keep your wits about you as always. You know, this is, this is a good reminder to all of us, just, you know, to always be looking out for our neighbors. Petrie says the woman will soon be checked into a rehab facility. It's just going to force me to do some things different. She's working to start self-defense training classes for her department because this, unfortunately, could happen to anyone. We just take things for granted. In Dallas. Um, yeah, be, be very aware of your surroundings. Uh, don't take things for granted, your safety. Anybody can be attacked, doesn't matter who you are or where you are. Just be mindful of that. And it's very good this woman is doing, looking at having self-defense uh, self classes for her employees. Because I think it's important for everybody to know some kind of self-defense. Even if it's a, every couple of weeks, once a month, every week, whatever it is, do some kind of training to keep yourself in shape and keep yourself vigilant. To be able to stay vigilant because you never know who is going to approach you. But um, I saw in a separate video that this woman is walking and she's coherent and she'll start uh, rehab pretty soon. So that's that's good news. But the sad news is that she was attacked. But shout out to the security officers who were on site and uh, got the police involved, got video footage. But for the people who just stood there, uh, shame on you. You know, maybe it didn't register, I don't know. But if I see somebody getting attacked, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to, going to go into Batman mode and start... You know, because you never know. I understand people don't are afraid of what could happen to them. But um, the minimum you can do is help render aid to somebody, provide them the support they need until the, uh, you know, EMS gets there. You know, call 911, get a description of the person if you can. Uh, that That's the least you can do. But I'm glad that she is okay. And this is very scary. It's downtown Dallas, you know. A lot of downtown Dallas is a bustling area. You know, this happened in broad daylight. This is not some late night attack, you know, with, you know, at 11 p.m. And we saw recently, a few months ago, there was a guy attacked at a bar outside Dallas, whacked in the head with a giant stick. Minding his own business. Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Dallas. I don't go to Dallas unless I really have to. But I try to avoid it as much as possible, and a lot of people... I know feel the same way. They try to avoid Dallas as much as possible. You know, it's traffic is crazy and it's a little more crime is higher, but uh, you know, the best thing you can do is um vote for the right people. Law and order is number one on my list. Law and order. Stay safe streets, strong police force, keep the criminals off, keep the criminals away. But yeah, I wanna share the update with you. Be aware, be aware of your surroundings, but I want to give you an update of, on this woman. Thank goodness she's okay. And I wonder if there's a connection there with him being out on parole and that there was a connection in that courthouse and her, or, uh, maybe, I don't know. This man obviously targeted her for a reason. Maybe we'll, will we ever find out? I don't know. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you. Take care.